Hello, hello, hello. Much love to you all. May God bless you all. Jesus is coming really soon. There's only one way to the Father, and it's Jesus Christ. So I see an article that comes up about aliens are helping the Western government. Of course, we remember back in uh, May, there was a family that had uh, out in Nevada seen aliens, is what media said. But what the media held out is that they had said that they had seen demons. They had prayed against the demons. And um, we know that I'm going to read a scripture here before I go any further. Um, in Ephesians 6, 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we know that there's a very real program that's been called Project Blue Book. I've touched on this before many articles and files that have talked about unidentified objects that they have seen in the sky we know that there's been many hieroglyphs and stuff in egyptian times the hittite times uh Kahananite times where they have um, shown all these hieroglyphs of objects in the sky that have come down that have shown them things um, but we see that on Jerusalem Post, they said that aliens are helping the Western governments develop spacecraft. Now it says, are there extraterrestrial beings residing on Earth and assisting Western governments in construction of spacecraft? A UFO expert, Paul Askoff, seems to think so. He asserts that a race of gray aliens arrived during World War II and has been actively involved in developing a development of flying saucers ever since. This guy is an ex-military officer and current member of the British UFO research team and was featured in a Daily Star stating that there are several authors and investigators who believe that the Western governments have been working with gray aliens to such an extent that advanced technologies have been passed down to them and our ongoing dialogue and cooperation even exists now. Of course, what are some of the breakthroughs they've said? Fiber optics is how we have a lot of our internet now. Uh, microchips, like how Elon Musk is trying to do a synthetic fiber Kevlar for the military, stealth technology for the military, and even their own flying saucers. I've done a video where I've shown some pictures of some things that we had caught in the sky on top of a mountain before, too, that would resemble what they call a flying saucer. So the thing is, is a lot of people are saying the Western government has worked with them. There's a video on here where they talk about there's a sister um, property called Area 52, where Area 51, where they test things, then they take it to Area 52 to finalize. Um, crazy. Now, it's sitting here talking about there is a book called The Real Story that reveals individuals that have encountered the men in black. And no, we're not talking about Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith down here. We're talking about men in black where there was two groups of them. One of them, they try to confirm what the witness seen and they leave without being too intimidated. The second group, on the other hand, they get intimidating and they try to tell the witness that the evidence written or photograph will be destroyed and never spoken of again under any circumstances or dire consequences will follow. So a common thread of witness testimony of visits by the men in black are they don't show ID. They don't actually state which government, uh, uh, governmental development pro uh, program they work for. And they appear like robots. Um, they suddenly appear, disappear. Weird. But remember, Ephesians 6, 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So it wouldn't shock me if Western governments are working with some spiritual forces of other worlds, spiritual forces, fallen angels, giving them all the technology they have 
also in Israel, we see that the Islamic Jihad in Iran is arming Israeli Arabs in Judea and Samaria to destroy Israel. Uh, there's ongoing conflicts that are going on over here in Israel, and we need to continue to keep them in prayer. There's leader, the leaders of the terror group, Palestinian Islamic Jihad and Hamas, recently met with leaders in Iran, and they spoke to the media about the Islamic regime's role in the war on Israel trying to destroy him from within here it says there was a great focus in order for the west bank to move from a state of coexistence and calm to a state of resistance that we see today and of course all of this is under directives of ally uh however you say his name but explaining the conclusions resulting from this recent meeting with the Iranian Supreme Leader, during our last meeting with him in Tehran, we renewed the call, or he renewed the call. Oh, that moved on me. He renewed the call for the development of resistance in the West Bank. West Bank has been a really huge target for um, a lot of terrorism. So it says actions have been performed and plans have been consolidated in order to arm the West Bank, uh, Judea and Samaria, and create a change in direction regarding everything connected to Palestinian situations. Continues to ramp up over there. It says that he predicted that Israel would cease to exist as a result of Iran-backed terrorism. We know this has been a plot for Iran for a very long time to completely eradicate, at all costs, Israel. They want them wiped off the face of the earth. We know that Israel is going to be a very big target when it comes to end-time prophecy. And we know that Israel is continuing to be threatened by places like Syria, Hamas, and uh, Iran, and all these. And, and, and we know eventually that the Magog and Gog Alliance is going to form, which we've slowly been seeing taken in place with uh, Turkey, Syria, Iran, Russia, and China all trying to join together for, um, you know, basically to form this big alliance that is biblical proportions. So either way, we keep our focus on Jesus Christ, the only way to the Father, we know that we are living in the biblical timeline that we see the Bible predict. We know that, for instance, these alien things that they're really pushing is to be a distraction. It's to be a distraction. It's to take away from the fact of our blessed hope. And we know that all this political movements that is happening throughout all the nations in the world right now is another political distraction after another political distraction, just to continue to ramp up the anger within individuals. We know they're trying to stifle the truth. We know that they're trying to stop the truth. But you cannot stop the truth because the only truth is Jesus Christ. And he is coming back really soon. So we need to rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. We need to be thankful for everything that God has given us. We need to rejoice evermore, and we need to pray without ceasing. So much love to you all. May God bless you all. Keep your heads up. You fight from victory, not from defeat, and that is because of Jesus Christ, what he had did over 2,000 years ago on Mount Golgotha, on Calvary, to free us from our sins. And if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed.